It is a case that still baffles police. On April 18th, 2016, Missy Beavers arrived at Creekside Church around 4.30 in the morning to prepare for a Camp Gladiator class she was about to teach. What she didn't know was that there was a suspect inside the church dressed in what looked like police SWAT gear. A surveillance videotape shows the person arrived 30 minutes before Missy and roamed around until she arrived. I do, but I Renee Rodden a is a local podcaster who has followed this case for years. It's like something out of a scary movie, uh, watching the person walk around a church and covered from head to toe, basically knowing that she's going to be showing up soon. Rodden and even police now believe Missy was targeted. It certainly is a strange occurrence at this time of morning for a church to be burglarized early in the morning. Missy students from Camp Gladiator found her around five in the morning and police say nothing had been stolen. I don't think it's random. You can clearly tell that they're kind of like wasting time. There's nothing that was taken from the church and there was nothing taken from even Missy. It had to be planned and it had to be targeted. Police released the surveillance tape hoping people would recognize the person's clothing and the way they walked with a limp. But to this day, they can't say if that person is a man or a woman. In past interviews, Missy's husband gave us his opinion. I just assumed it was a guy, you know, it's just kind of a generic uh, painting of the brush on that, but I, I think it's a woman. And without suspects, they don't have a motive or even a theory. Police have followed thousands of tips and leads around the country, but they have gone nowhere. The billboards for information are still up, and police say they could just be that one tip away from solving this. In Midlothian, I'm Rebecca Lopez.